Hello everyone, it's Gladius. So we're here, phase two is upon us and we are leveling our hunters up to level 40. To make that process more efficient, we need to make sure we're leveling with the best build possible and that is going to be the Beast Mastery talent build. Beast Mastery is just by far gonna be the strongest way to get to 40, even though there's a bunch of really good looking melee runes that are gonna be, we're gonna be picking up here in phase two. Still, Beast Mastery is gonna be outperforming everything without access to those runes just yet. A lot of this is standard in the Beast Mastery build Build, but we are going to be taking a couple extra things. First of all, we are taking pathfinding. Pathfinding is going to be really useful. Before we're level 40, we're not going to have a mount, so we're just going to be running everywhere. These, this extra percent movement speed is going to really help us just get to our goals a lot faster. Also, I am taking swiftness. Swiftness is going to help your pet get to the target a lot faster because it's going to be moving at 30% faster. If you are doing like a boar, leveling with a boar or something like that, then you don't need to take this, but I am going to be leveling with a cat. Speed is the name of the game. A couple mod modifications you can make. If you're not interested in taking pathfinding, you could put that down at the bottom for focus regen with bestial discipline. I am getting one point here, but you could take two points here. Of course, focus is going to help your pet just do a little bit more damage. So up to you on which you want to prioritize. Also at the top, if you're not interested in taking endurance training like I did here, you can move that over into improved revive. That's another option. Your pet can die while leveling. A lot of times we'll be taking on difficult content, trying to solo things. So we might bite off a little bit more than we can chew. Getting off a quick revive in combat, can help you save the encounter instead of have to restart it. So up to you on that. Those are just a couple of different choices you have. Uh, next, if we're talking about runes we want to take on our path to level 40, we're going to stick with Heart of the Lion. Pretty standard. It's a really great rune to have. Uh, Beast Mastery on our hands. And, and again, this is pretty obvious. Beast Mastery has been a really strong option for all of phase one, and it continues to be so even after the nerf that it experienced. Next, if we get our hands on the melee specialist, we want to use that for our waste. It's just a really strong options and also with that if we get our hands on the dual wield specialist at on our feet for our boots we definitely want to use that as well these are going to be really strong and work in tandem with each other just to make our melee way stronger along with of course flanking strike which we can macro in with a raptor strike as well this is going to make leveling so quick our flanking strike raptor combo is going to do so much damage to but that combo is often just gonna finish off our mobs by itself. I'm planning on just starting as a beast mastery hunter, just taking the standard runes and a standard build path to start with. And then as I find the melee stuff, I'm gonna start equipping the melee items because it does seem like melee is gonna be really strong, at least on paper here. If that changes, I'll make a video on that. All right, let's talk about our pet and how we can level it up. First of all, I am gonna be leveling with the cat. Cat seems really strong in phase two and we're gonna need it leveled up to level 40 anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead take it because I'm going to be using it at 40. I do think boar is another really strong option. Again, that boar's charge to start combat and then the additional threat it gains from the empowered attack after charge is really, really nice. So boar fans, go ahead and grab it. This is your chance to use it because you're going to be leveling and that's really where the boar shines. So bite five lowest level looks like it's going to be 32 Plains Creeper in Arathi Highlands. That's going to be a good option for picking up your bite five. Also, the Spark Shell Snapper in Thousand Needles is going to be at 34 or if you're of if you're really far away from the Rathian Highlands. But getting it two levels earlier, definitely worth the trip all the way to the Rathian Highlands to pick up the Plains Creeper. Next, if we're talking about Claw 5, Claw 5 is going to be able to be picked up from the Scorpid Lashers in Desolus at level 34. Trading a rare just for a pet ability is kind of a pain in the butt. You have to wait around for it. And also, too, you don't know if anyone else is camping it. So I don't worry about it with rares. I just go for the regular mobs. Scorpid Lasher is going to be a good option in Desolus if you want to make a trip out there. Next, Bite 6. Bite Bite six looks like it's going to be on in Dustwallow March. You can pick it up from Bite six from the Death Strike Tarantula. Looks like it's going to be the best option for there. There, it's going to be Swamp of Sorrows, Death Strike Tarantula at level 40. So you're going to be max level at this point, but if you want to get your cat as powerful as possible, go ahead and pick up this one right here. And finally, for Claw six, Claw six, we're going to want to pick up the Scorpid Hunter. Uh, Scorpid Hunter in Tenaris is going to be the best option of that. Also, the Silt Crawler uh, in Swamp of Sorrows. So actually, I do think going to Swamp of Sorrows might be a better option because you can pick up both your Bite and Claw while you're there and just go ahead and train it all in one. So Silt Crawler in Swamp of Sorrows, and then you want to go for your or bite also while you're there. Prowl one can be learned from the mountain lions in the Ultrac Mountains or Ridge Stalkers in the Badlands. Either one would be a good option for learning Prowl. Prowl's more of a PvP thing. You don't really necessarily need it right away. Um, so I, I, I don't think it's like pivotal to get this during leveling, but it's gonna be really useful for once you get down to Stranglethorn. 
Next thing you need to do is check out all of the runes that are dropping for Hunter in Phase 2. I have a video on that that talks about all the different runes, and, and as soon as we find them, I'm going to make videos about where to find them as quick as possible as well. So if you want to stay tuned for that, go ahead and consider putting a sub on the channel there so you can get it as quick as you can. If the video did help you out today, please heroic strike that like button. If you want to stay tuned for more WoW content in the future, please bash the subscribe. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.